Hello everybody, so in this video I'm gonna show you how to download and install Cobblemon for Minecraft Java. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here all you wanna do is go to your search bar and you'll just search up mod print like so. You just enter and then you'll find model.com, just click on modinf and then you'll be on the modinf homepage. From there, all you want to do is go to discover content on the top of the website, and then you have to go down to mods. Now, all you want to do is go and search mods, and you want to search up Cobblemon, like so. So Cobblemon, and here you'll find the Cobblemon mod name. Just click on it, and it'll be new to this page here. So all you want to do here is simply go to the versions tab, and from there, you can go to game versions, and select what Minecraft Java version you want to play. I'm going to choose the latest one they have. This is not the latest Minecraft Java version. It is just 1.21.1. And here, all you want to do is simply go ahead and find one with Fabric. We will be using Fabric for this tutorial. And the one for your version here. So just click the green download button. And you now have Cobblemon downloading to your computer. So all you want to do is simply click the version name for Fabric of Cobblemon. And you actually want to get yourself Fabric API, which is given to you by just scrolling down all the way to the bottom of the change log, and you'll find dependencies here. So dependencies, and here you'll find Fabric API, which is required. So just click on that. From there, you want to go to versions. Now you want to go to game versions, and you want to choose the same version you did for Cobblemon. So in my case, it was 1.21.1. And here, just click the one with your version for Fabric and click the green download button. And you now have Fabric API and Cobblemon. So all you want to do here is simply go ahead and go to a new tab. And then you want to go ahead and go to your search bar and you want to search up Fabric Minecraft like so. Just enter. Here you'll find FabricMC.net. Just click on Fabric. And this will bring you to the Fabric homepage. From there all you want to do is go to the blue download button. And now you want to go to the blue download for Windows button here. And now you have Fabric Installer. So all you want to do is simply go ahead and minimize or close your web browser. And then you want to go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. From there, all you want to do is find Fabric Installer. And you want to double click the file. This will bring this little window here where the Minecraft version has to match the same Minecraft version you did for Cobblemon and Fabric API. So for me it was 1.21.1 and here just click the install button. Then OK. Then close. And you now have finished with the fabric installer. So all you want to do is go to the Minecraft launcher and from there you'll be able to add Cobblemon and you'll be able to add fabric API to the mods folder. So basically here you have fabric loader here and all you want to do is go to installations here and then you want to hover over fabric loader and go to the folder icon. From there, all you want to do is find mods, that's a folder, and you want to double click it. And now all you want to do is go to downloads, you want to select and copy the two mods, then you want to go to the top left arrow to go back to your PS folder and click paste. And you should have Fabric API and Cobblemon in the .minecraft mods folder. So yeah, you should have this layout here and if you do, just go to the Minecraft launcher again, go to play. Make sure Fabric Loader is selected here for your version of course and click play. And now you have to do I understand the risks as Fabric is a modified version of Minecraft and click play again. And now you have to go ahead and wait. Okay, so once you have Minecraft here, all you want to do is go to a single player world or a server if the server has Cobblemon on its side, so it's a modded fabric server for example. But here we'll just go to a single player world. And here we're going to go to create new world. And we want to create a new world. So let's just go ahead and wait for that. Okay, creative and create new world. And here we have to wait for the world to be created. And then we'll see that we indeed have Cobblemon. So it will be quite obvious by the M key pop up on the top right corner that if we do this we're gonna have the starter selection screen here 
but you can also see that we have some modified structures as well which comes with cover model as well as a bunch of new items here that comes with cover model as well so yeah this is meant to be used in survival of course but here it is in creative as well so yeah in today's video i showed you how to download and install cover model for minecraft java so if you like today's video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one. Bye!